What's up everyone? It's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we are going to be reviewing Top Gun Maverick. I recently just caught this film last night. It was quite the experience and we're going to be talking non-spoiler today just in case you haven't seen the film you know I don't want to spoil anything and we're going to be going through just everything I loved about this film positives negatives rating and then I'm going to send you all home. So let's get into this video. Roll it. Top Gun Maverick is the long-awaited sequel to Top Gun, a 1980s film. This one, this one is directed by Joseph Krasinski, and it stars Tom Cruise, Jennifer Connelly, Miles Teller, and John Hamm. And this, right off the bat, let's get into the positives, is that the actors and actresses across the board, they all deliver in this movie. This is one of those summer blockbusters that... It feels, it just feels like everybody was in unison. Everybody knew what they were making. They were all on board and they all put their best effort and their best foot forward. Another amazing thing about this film is it just has such, so many amazing scenes that are shot good and action wise and very intense. And even the emotional moments and talking is intense and it keeps you on the edge of your seat. And it's just, they don't make films like this anymore. This is a very gripping, emotional film that's going to grab you. And like I said, the intense cinematography and action sequences with the fighter pilot jets, it's just, it's really there and it's beautiful. And like I said, this is one of those films that's quite the experience in every sense of the word. And especially being it's a freaking sequel that's decades after the other one, similar to like a Tron and Tron Legacy type thing, or just, just long, like how they did The Shining and Doctor Sleep. This is another fantastic sequel that takes place decades later after the first film and like I'll argue and tell you right now that this film I might think Top Gun Maverick might be better than the first film for sure because damn like everything about this movie it just is so perfect like I said the acting the dialogue the writing is another great thing about this film it's just everybody that has the words and that talks it feels like those characters would actually say those things you know what I mean it's just so on board like I said, the writers, directors, producers, everybody. It just feels like everybody's working in unison to create this amazing summer blockbuster. And being that this film is two hours, it's like two hours and 11 minutes, it still has a great quick pace to it. That is the perfect length for this film because you're sent into the beginning of this movie and you're with Tom Cruise and you're watching him and you know, it's been decades later, it's like, you know, 30 years, he's still a captain and five flying jets and stuff and he hasn't really climb the rung to be anything more than that and he's kind of fighting against the technology that's rising up in the air force and stuff so it's just it's a really cool experience like i said just really is how it sets you up in the film and takes you through the movie you're so on the ride the whole way and all the addition of the new characters they blend in so well with tom cruise and jennifer connelly and everybody else that it's great to see them just all work together and oh man by the time we get to that third act it's potent, it's intense, and you're really invested. Like, you know, I was just like sitting, like grabbing my chair. A couple times I was emotionally invested and I was like tearing up, you know what I mean? Like even when I just heard the music at the beginning of the movie, when it when it kicks on and you hear that, dum -dum, like kind of like just that noise, oh man. I got goosebumps and like my tears were welling up already because I was like, damn, this is, I can feel it. This is going to be something special. So as you can tell by my, my feelings and my views and what I'm saying is Top Gun Maverick is badass. This is one of those films you do not want to miss in theaters. Like it's a total theater movie. It really has that vibe about it. It has the acting. It has the actresses, the story, the action, the intense cinematography that keeps you th like enthralled with the movie because it looks so beautiful. The music, the score, oh man, like so, it's so much stuff going on in this film, and it's got a lot of good soundtrack music too in here. Like there's a Lady Gaga song in here too. Like there's a lot of stuff that was invested into this movie, and you can tell that everybody cared about it and they wanted to put the best product forward on screen. And oh man, like. And I love Top Gun. I love the first one. Like, that's a movie that I return to a lot because it's just one of those kind of cheesy 80s films. It's not really action, but it just, it has this cool vibe about it and Val Kilmer and Tom Cruise and everybody. And it's just so amazing to see them together and stuff like that. 
And when we went to the theaters, like before we the movie started, they had some scenes and some clips of the old Top Gun movie going and stuff like that. And actually went to this new place, the Flix Brew House, so you can actually order food and have like a beer and everything. And there's like waiters that come to you and you silent order and stuff like that. So it was really cool and a great place to go see this movie because like a sound, all that stuff. It was my first experience at this theater or at that new theater and going to see this movie was perfect. Like I said, it did everything I wanted. And to be honest, negatives, there really isn't any negatives that I have about this movie. There freaking isn't. Like, I had goosebumps. I was tearing up. I was gripping my chair. Like, that. you know what I mean? This movie, like, that's how much of an experience it is. It's a, It elicits, you know, physical responses from you because that's how good it is. And, oh, man, like I said, if I had any negative, it would be a nitpicky thing. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but there's a certain part in the third act that is very similar to another movie that we've seen from ages and ages ago that actually came out in the 80s too. So it's just that thing, it didn't bother, it's just a little nitpicky thing just because, but the sequence and the third act is fucking amazing. They still deliver and they still execute on that third act. Like I said, it's just a nitpicky thing, but no negatives. Like this is top dog, one of the, I would say, I'd have to really think about it, but one of my probably top 10 favorite theater experiences that I've ever had in my life, it was just, everything I wanted it to be, like I said, and my wife loved it just as much as me, like we were emotionally invested and talking about it in the car when we were riding home and stuff, so yeah, Top Gun Maverick is definitely one of those movies that you have to go out and see, I highly recommend it, and in my book, this film's gonna get, I mean, I'm gonna have to rewatch it again, sometimes I'm scared to give movies the 10 right away, because I gotta rewatch them again to see the rewatch value, but I would, I'm gonna give this movie the 10, I'm gonna give Top Gun Maverick the 10, because fuck it's so freaking good like you really have to go see this movie and go check it out for yourself so you can experience it <clears throat> even if you're not a fan of the first one at all I really think you would enjoy this movie you know if you're not on board with the first one but you have to see the first one to really experience and enjoy this one I think you just have to even like I said even if you don't like the first one or you think it's dated I think you really have to see that one to really appreciate and enjoy this new sequel but thanks for sticking around with me, y'all, for this review of Top Gun Maverick. And please let me know in the comment section what you think of this film. If you've seen it, was this a banger? Or did you enjoy it just as much as me? I would love to hear from all of you. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing on the channel. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.